Okay. Are, are, we, are we live? Let's we see if we, anybody will. No one's I'm telling on your yet. followers that you started a live video. Okay, I'm going to go here. Go live on this one. There we go. Okay. Okay, yeah. Hey. Yeah, let's see if this other thing. We see some people joining in. Okay. What's up, you guys? Oh, we get some time for people to uh, fill, fill in. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we start talking. It's been, I don't know, when was the last time we did this? We haven't done a live in a minute. We've yeah. been busy. That's a good thing. Yeah. Um, okay, where's this going? Okay, that is supposed to start up. Uh, connect. It's connecting. I think so. It says it's connecting. You're out of frame right now, Mike. I'm out of frame? There you go. I didn't move. <laughs> uh, um, it's delayed. I, I see delayed. HU. All right, yeah, so you, you see the... Um, Hi, Quinn. Hey, happy happy birthday. <laughs> Is your uh, birthday today? No, yesterday. Oh, happy but, belated, but she Quinn. Knew, she knew that. I didn't know, but I'm not going to front. Happy birthday. <laughs> right, right. Um, yeah, so, all right, can't wait to see the movie. I hope, I hope you see the movie. We need everybody yeah. out there this weekend. Well, and and I don't know if you guys know, but oh shoot, we didn't even uh we didn't put the uh, thing on. It's all good. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, we we're 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 rusty at this. Uh, I should have put put the do not notify. What do you call it? Do not disturb. Do not disturb. So thing. people will not call and bother us. But yeah, we'll, we're so, just gonna work it out. Yeah, yeah, because you know you you forgive us. But first of I all, Niala. Now she's in the house. It's our dog. Okay, so um, so yeah. First of all, thank you. I don't know if you guys saw the post that I just put up. It's got the movie has got a hundred percent audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Woo! And thank you so much for that and supporting. Yeah, for all those moviegoers, all you guys going out buying tickets and supporting the film this weekend, it means the world to us. Sorry, Uzbekistan. It's not to you yet, but you know when you get there, you know when it gets to you, I, I hope you uh, support. Yeah, is it releasing what? in India? Huh? Is it releasing in India? It, no, no, it's not. It's not yet. It's, so right now it's just domestic. Uh, so um, Uzbekistan, India. Uh, we will see you hopefully very soon. Yeah, right now it's just in the U.S., but, you know, it'll eventually hopefully get to every country. FC Syndicate, what's up? Wow, okay, I'm, I'm surprised you know, I'm surprised about all the, <laughs> so many people popping up from yeah. various places. Somebody um, said I'm a good dancer. Why, thank you. My, hey, what's up, David? Uh, my, my old college roommate, what's happening? Yeah, you guys gotta bear with us because these messages are coming in like crazy. So I'm yeah. trying to see them and 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 thank you, um, thank you for all you guys support. Um, mm. You know, Mike did an amazing job on Outlaw Johnny Black. As you guys know, he's the director, writer, producer, and star. And don't forget caterer. I got caterer. No, no, I didn't. Yeah, he's the hairstylist and makeup artist mm. too. No, but, <laughs> but you know, th this this movie started with these two people right here. That's right. She she basically, you were the first uh, accountant. Uh, we ran around and got all kinds of like props. You Went should to have seen a, us. A bunch of prop houses. We were driving a U-Haul truck around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, because that's what I did. We 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 spent our money doing the uh, the mock trailer, and uh, that was to get the money. But then when we put it out there, people thought the movie was done. Because I guess the trailer was uh, was efficient enough that they thought it was a real movie, but it wasn't. So I mean, and all you potential movie makers, I I put something on my I have a link on my um on my Facebook that t takes you to my YouTube page, and for any filmmakers out there who want to learn, please look at that because I I'm, I'm explaining how I got the financing for Black Dynamite and Outlaw Johnny Black done. And so, you know, it's called a tale of two trailers. Yeah. Look so, for that. Yeah. Cause it's, a, it's really, you know, you gotta, you gotta know how the, the, the minds of the producers and studios work. And so, um, sometimes when you show the end result, it, it will strengthen your chances of getting your, your dream made. So I start with the trailers and the, you know, basically a concept trailer. So the studios or whomever the, or the financers know what they're getting. 
Yeah, they can see your exact vision and not create something their self by just something that you tell them, you know, yeah, that your movie's about. A lot of people don't have your imagination. When you're trying to tell your story, it's hard for you, you know, you, you, you're you limited with your, your verbs, your verbal skills to get what's in your mind into their mind, right? So sometimes it's good to be able to shoot something so they understand the concept. So, yeah, so that's how... I went and, and, and did it. And that's what we did for Outlaw. Mm -hmm. And this was like a long time coming from us running around, getting props, having our family, our kids play extras in it and roles, um, you know, getting hair, makeup, costumes. We did that all of our, all ourselves, just to get this made, to get the investors to give us the yes to get this movie made. And now look at where we are now, you know? It's not something that is a, a fast process. But the end result is always amazing. Yeah, well, I mean, and, and it's really, really well worth it. Uh, when, you know, you, when now we, we can finally, I mean, this, we had slept longer last night <laughs> than we have like in a had. long time because I had to promote, you know, got to go to New York, promote it, come back and do more promotion, you know, and all of that. So I finally was able to sleep and thank you guys yeah. because it all worked out because, I mean... You know, there's a very few movies that start out with a, a, a t Rotten Tomato score of a hundred from the audience. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it just shows the audience doesn't lie because those are the people. You're not critics. You're not journalists. You know, you're not working for someone else. You are going to the movies. You're paying your hard-earned money to buy a ticket. You're buying your popcorn. You're sitting down. You're ready with your family and friends to have a good time. You make that response. You make the choice of do you like this film or not, and you know. That's, people that's don't what's, lie, that's so what's that's what's happening, you know? Yeah, because I already knew uh, with, um, with, with critics uh, what was going to happen, especially nowadays, because everybody, you know, the critics are used to seeing the same Don movie over and over, and there's going to be some critics who basically, it's like, here's my, here's my saying. I say this, and it applies in a lot of places. People only want an excuse to do what's already in their heart. I'll say it again. People want an excuse to do what, what's ever that's already in their heart. And if somebody doesn't want to like something, they'll try to find a reason. And so I knew, I said, a lot of people are going to try to say, because there's this part where um, I've got this white kid playing a Native American, and because that's a hot button, that somebody's going to go, oh, look, he's got a white person playing Native, Native American. American. But, yeah, well, but, in, but the whole point is, I'm doing it on purpose to highlight the fact that that was a wrong thing to do. I have several real Native Americans in this movie, but to be authentic to the movies of the past, I had a white kid playing it, right? And the Native Americans in the background are looking at him like they want to kill his ass. So, the, the, so that became a, a point of of humor that everybody got. Every all all the audience members, they're like. I get it. You get it. Right. right. So so it that's that's you know that's parody. That's that's what it's about. Because if I put a Native American in that role, then it wouldn't first of all it wouldn't be authentic and it wouldn't be funny. You know? So the point is is that is that's that is the uh the idea about bringing subject matter like this, especially tense subject matter mm -hmm. to the forefront and how do we deal with it? Because think about it. This movie was based off of Black Wall Street. All right? How serious is that? I'm, I'm putting it, the way I'm dealing with it, the same way Mel Brooks dealt with things, it's like you take humor. The humor it can be a, a, a really smart tool when used properly. We're talking about something that when I called it the uh, WWRBBM, you know, th that whole subject, how whole communities were decimated because what would happen is they would say that these black communities where uh, black men were, uh, you know, after white women, right? And they would use that as an excuse to destroy an entire black town. So there's a platform if we're talking about that. I'm saying it's so ridiculous that we should be laughing about it this day. It's not funny, but it's like, look at, look at you know, it's a, it's a way that you look at life and turn it on its, on its ear. I mean, just like where, you know, Mel Brooks did uh, um, producers 
where he had springtime for Hitler. So that was a that was a maneuver. That was a very sophisticated maneuver on how you can take the air out of a very tough subjects and bring bring about the 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 communication about how you deal with things. And this movie is about re, you know rectifying things and forgiving and moving on. So I am so happy that so many people have grasped that 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 idea and they they understand it. Me too. And I think a lot of times um, there's a lot of uncomfortable subjects people don't like to talk about. This film brings to light uncomfortable subjects of the past, but puts them in a manner that is comfortable for discussion. You know, like after a movie, when you guys are speaking on points of the film, you know, you can bring this up now and it won't feel uncomfortable with, mm -hmm. with a group of people who might be a diverse uh, group of, of, of ethnic races, you yeah. know? And you guys can talk about it because it's now put in a lighter format. You know yeah. what I mean? Think about the brilliant uh, comedy, Hollywood Shuffle. Well, you know, this is about serious situations, how black, black actors were treated. And, and Robert Townsend brilliantly brought that to light in, in, a, in a manner that, you know, it's a, it's a tense subject, but he put it in a, in a parameter that we could deal with it and talk about it, right? Because people don't want to run from these subjects. This is how you get them. This is how you get this part as part of the equation is, uh, you know, sometimes with humor, you can you can kind of turn things, like I said, on its ear. That's the beauty of filmmaking. Yes. And that's what it's about. I know everybody yeah. gets tense about things. Oh, you can't talk about this. You can't mm -hmm. talk about that. So understand there, there may be critics that the first thing they want to do is like shoot something down because they're afraid to embrace something that mm -hmm. they don't understand. And I, and I know a lot of things people are not going to understand. And that's the whole point of filmmaking, you know, is to educate it and, is, it and is. share. But this film will have you laughing. We've heard so many, like we've had friends today. We had a friend who mentioned to us earlier that he went to the movies last night. The theater was full and he said it was nonstop laughter the whole night. And, you know, just him reporting that back to us, it just, it just made me so happy. I was like, you know, we both have said it's time for people to get back out to the theater and just laugh. Yeah. You know, it just makes you feel good to go out and laugh and have a good time. And this film will absolutely make you do that. Yeah, one of, one of the things that's been, uh, I guess, one of the, the greatest uh, messages was that in the first screening, of, uh, as producer left my house and, and he, after seeing the, the movie, um, he, he called me and said um, he had contacted his mother after not talking to her for eight years because of the movie. And, um, and so when he told me that, that, that made me feel like I'm doing something right because if more people are getting messages like that, that's affecting their lives, well then it's great that we can laugh and you know, joke and, and enjoy a movie, but it's, it's another thing that if it can change our lives. And for a movie like this, to do that, man, that makes me feel like I'm doing something right. You are. Well, I <laughs> I, you know, I, I, yeah, I, she knows. I, I, I'm not good with compliments. He I doesn't just, like compliments. You know, just, he, he, he starts to. Uh, I get shy. He gets weird and starts to blush inwardly. Quiet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we, we love all the compliments you guys are, are, are saying right now. You know, it's, it's, um, it makes us feel really good to know that we have everyone's support out there. You know, with us personally and with this film. Yeah, and and watch out there if there's. There are some apps that you might have that say that this movie is not playing in your area. Uh, so, sometimes, and we're finding out that a lot of these things, these apps are not um, reporting the, the truth. So definitely look, don't just trust one app. There are, are you know, this movie is, is nationwide. Mm -hmm. and, Over 300 theaters. Yeah, and it's growing. So we... We really focused on it in the inner cities first, and then our next tier hopefully will be hitting a lot more of the rural areas. That's always been a word that I can't say. I know that's why. <laughs> rural. I always laugh when he says that word. He can't say it. R rural. 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 We'll, we'll practice that later. Rural. <laughs> rural. Okay, let's move on to something yeah. else that I can't say. <laughs> Uh, you know, if I do my corny voice, I can say it. 
Oh boy, don't do that. Okay, no, I won't do that. All right. No, uh, Hi, Esther. Esther oh. is an actress that did a movie with us. Yeah, she played. Miss. She played my mom. She hey, played Esther. Mike's mom. Hi, Esther. Yeah, I, yeah. I hope you enjoy the film when you go see it with your friends and family tomorrow. Yes, and, and, and we'll be very careful not to talk about any other movies. We're not. While we're on this, we're only talking about Outlaw because we can't. That's talk it. About we are we are else. completely standing in solidarity with the SAG strike. Mm -hmm. But luckily, SAG AFTRA gave us the agreement and the waiver to promote Outlaw Johnny Black, which is why we are promoting the hell out of it. Yes, we have an interim <laughs> agreement. Interim agreement. Interim. Interim. Yeah, so Rural. we are, We this film is SAG approved Rural to promote. interim but, agreement. However, we cannot speak about any other films, so any of your questions, don't ask about any other movies because we can't talk about it right now. Right, and especially not that movie that I'm asked about every damn day. <laughs> and I have nothing yeah. to do with it. Only I Outlaw. I used to. I used to. Only Outlaw. Yes. Love and, from uh, Pakistan. Wow, this is this is cool. Yeah, it's all over. Yes, I, I got it. We hope everyone in other countries, once this film goes international, you guys will be able to enjoy it. Oh, well. shoot, that's what I'm not doing. I need to do if that. He's not moving. Yeah. But we have, we have our friend Billy here. He's going to be kind of going through some of your questions. And, uh, yeah. and we'll, uh, you know, answer them, answer them for you. Yeah, who would fight? Who would win in a fight? You or Casey from Never Back Down? Da, da, da. We're never not talking back, about that. Never Back Down the Street? Yeah, Never Back never down, down the Street. The street. Yeah, yeah, we don't. Um, yeah, down the street, it's um, a couple neighbors. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um. <laughs> You've been a father figure to people. That was nice. Okay, uh, is that Someone a statement? Said, or? Know, a yeah. father figure to people. Yeah. Well, yeah. Someone just said, I used to get a bowl of popcorn before watching a movie. Now you get a bowl of grits. Hey, whatever floats your boat. We like grits. We had grits this morning for breakfast, yes, right? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We don't normally have them when we're watching movies, though. However. Okay, now it's working correctly. Yeah, now it's needed. To, I needed to do this thing. Yeah, you got to scroll up. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. Do you know how to do you, you know? Are you scrolling up? He's, he, yeah, yeah he's looking at the questions. Somebody. Uh, you, you, it's great to see one of the goats sharing knowledge. That's what he's good for, sharing knowledge. That's what I'm supposed to do. That's what we all supposed to do. Nisi Payne said, "Hey, Mike and Gil." Hey, Nisi Pe hey, Payne. Nisi. <laughs> Man, I, I love the international love. Man, yeah, yeah it's just a, a lot from from all over in several. Cool. Guys are amazing. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank Jay you. Rich. We appreciate that. Can we have a sequel to... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, we'll talk about the sequel to... Blah, 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 and, um, and more. Guys, we can't talk about any other movies. We can't talk about any other films right now because SAG and AFTRA are striking and it's, we are part of SAG AFTRA, so we are not allowed. We are yes. only talking about Outlaw Johnny Black because we have the waiver to promote that. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's it. Yep. So once this strike is over, we'll be able to answer your questions about other films. Yes. <laughs> But I can't talk about me. Yeah. Chutananda says you never age. I never age? Well, I decided not to. I decided to stop aging because, and why? Why do it? And I put I put a facial cream on his face every night that allows him to, this. to not age. Well, yeah. And it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's it's just, you know what it is? The the reason that I'm not I'm, or I'm, I'm slowing down in age is uh, possibly this you know this whole thing over here it's it's, it's about like being happy. I used to look much older when I was younger, you know, because I was pretty miserable. How was it to work with Russell? How was it to work with Russell? It, it, it's great, Ru Russell Russell Russell's Peters family. Yeah, and, and and it's actually kind of interesting because he's the. I think is he's the first Indian to play a Native American. <laughs> Check that out. That's, that's and if, if anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, we're talking about uh, comedian Ru Russell Peters, who yes, plays one, a role in Outlaw Johnny Black. He's one of the biggest comedians in the world. He is. Yes. And, and we were blessed. He is family and a great friend, and we were blessed to have him on board with Outlaw Johnny Black. Yep. Yep. And... It, 
Wow, a lot of Uzbekistan. yeah. You guys, you're international. We saw wow. Brazil. I can't wait Canada, for it to come to Italy. your country. And, and I, shout out to all of you guys. Cheyenne says you changed their life. Cheyenne said I changed their life. I changed their life. Uh, well, thank you. I hope to uh, in a positive way. Bridgeport, Connecticut is watching. Thank you so much, hometown. <laughs> thank you, hometown. I will be in Bridgeport on Tuesday. We will be in Bridgeport. This Tuesday, this Tuesday or Wednesday. Wednesday. And I I get to say thank you to the community center that that made me who I am. I had a community center called the Ralph Ola Taylor Community Center that I walked every day to across town. It they allowed me to train, do you know, me and my karate guys to work out and teach karate there when I was from the time I was fourteen until I went to college. And I owe so much to that place. And I get to be part of the ribbon cut cutting next week because they've revamped the entire place. And now it's like state of the art. So I'm super happy that I'm going to be back there doing that. Thank you, Bridgeport. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I'll see you soon. We need more Massachusetts theater showing. Oh, well, I'm going to tell Samuel Goldwyn to get more Massachusetts theater show. Wait a minute. I thought they, were, thought they had a pretty a good amount of them. In Massachusetts? I'm not really sure. Okay. I, I, uh, have to Massachusetts. 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 Yeah, I, I don't it's, think um, I've ever said it right. So here's the thing, you guys. You know, the better the film does, the more theaters they'll put it in. So we got to get out there this weekend and just push these numbers. Any kind of new stunts in this movie? Oh, and new stunts in the movie? You got to come see the movie. Come see the movie and you yes. can see the stunts. Yes. <laughs> we, have, we, have, we have things in the stunt world that's never been done before. Namely, hey, Ma Michael, Michael Bearden, who was one of the greatest musical directors. He was Prince's musical director, Michael, Michael, a guy named Jackson. Michael Jackson's musical director. He's, Lady Gaga. Yeah, and he's in that. He's, when you see this is, uh, this is It, that's... Michael and M Michael Bearden, you know, and Michael arguing Jackson. On, on stage. <laughs> my, my, you know, Michael Jackson and Michael Bearden arguing on stage. He did our music. But anyway, he plays the piano player in this saloon fight. And so he is scoring the fight that he's looking at. <laughs> so once the fight starts, he starts playing along with the fight. You know, so <laughs> that, I'm sure that's a part of really uh, cool. music history. Yeah. Troy, I'll shout you out. Troy Owls, my oldest friend in the Hi, world. Hi, Troy. Hey, what's up, Troy? That is my oldest friend. We've known each other since we were seven years old. And um, and now here we are. And he, he, he uh, it, I always say he must have been something in the water. He was one of the greatest bodybuilders the world has ever seen. And um, he's still doing his things out there in, in Arizona. We Hopefully we'll see you soon. Uh, we're we're, we're in, in Troy's other, other home when he comes here. He he's he he stays in this mm -hmm. in this uh we have a kind of a uh what do you, what would you call it? Where are we we have a very cool back house that we turn into a uh, a man cave. So Troy stays in the man cave. Your 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 room is ready for you. you gotta come back. Yeah. New Zealand. Hey. I right. love New Zealand. I shot a TV show there that I can't name, but it was it's a beautiful country. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Puerto Rico, hey, Hello. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we shot there too. We've been there. Yeah, and doing a movie called Lichtenstein. I can't even say Lichtenstein. Right, that's it. <laughs> yeah, can we get uh, what did it say? It was a love for Chicago. We're sorry, we're trying to keep up with some of these questions coming in. Mm hmm. Yeah, and oh, India. Oh. It, what, I can't talk about this. You can't talk yeah, about can't it. Can't talk about that. Mike did just have a movie come out that's yeah, that she can't talk about. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, because the brother, like, you, I, I don't read very fast, but I'm I'm trying. <laughs> and I guess people are having a debate about me fighting somebody. <laughs> that's always happening. I, can you teach me martial arts? Sure. Can you pay for it? <laughs> Uh, how much would I charge? Well, think about that. You know, I mean, so no, but I, I I'm sorry. You know, I just don't have time. But one day I might. He's uh, a very busy guy. Yeah. Somebody loved the soundtrack playing along with the movie. 
So oh, oh, the soundtrack for the movie was awesome. Yeah, that's that. I have to say, yeah, you know, uh, a, a big thanks to our musical uh, supervisor, mm -hmm. uh, you know, David. Oh man, my goodness, what he, yeah, uh, David Hollander. He he get yeah. he got me so much music from Italian composers from the seventies. And that's why the soundtrack was so authentic. So authentic. Yeah. Are you planning a sequel for How Lord John is Black? Well, uh, you guys make a, uh, you guys really make a difference on if there's going to be a sequel or not. So get the word out. Get the word out. Tell everybody to go see this movie. They will not be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Whole movie's cleverly done. I love the cameos. Didn't expect them. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Oh, incidentally, should I tell them about the cameo we nearly had? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Well, we we nearly had a cameo from the, what well, my favorite actor, uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Well, Samuel L. Jackson was going to come down and do a cameo, but it was it was me who made him not come because he had a back surgery and he was still dealing with a little pain, but he said, I'll come down and do it. And I'm like, no, man, because out of our friendship, I didn't want him to do it. And I said, you know, because I couldn't, in good conscience, have him go through this pain. But what he was going to do would have been funny. There, there's, a, there's, an, um, there's a moment where uh, my character, Outlaw Johnny Black, ducks the, the posse. He loses the, the posse that's chasing him. He hides behind some trees, and they go by. And so they're gone, and, you know, Johnny Black is satisfied that he's, he's in the clear, and then Samuel Jackson, in his character from Django, jumps out and tails on me. He just squeals on me and just goes, like there he go, Django. right there. <laughs> and then they turn around and start chasing me again. So he thought it was fun and funny to do. It would have been funny uh, because, you know, it would have been unexpected. But, if, if, but to see that character, you know, <laughs> pop out in, in, in his own, you know, his... His, his it would have uh, been great. It yeah, been so great. yeah, that that. But he we still appreciate funny, the but. fact that he was even going great to. Poster design. Yeah, th they say you know, great poster design. Thank you very much. We have several different posters that we're using for mm -hmm. different things, and this is one of them. But so it's it's kind of yeah. reminiscent of you know, back in the day in this in the seventies. It's not supposed to be crooked like that. That's my my fault because <laughs> I shouldn't have put it up there. Um, should have had somebody better do that. Somebody just joined on and said, what movie are we talking about? We're talking about Outlaw Johnny Black that came out in theaters yesterday. Um, Western comedy Black starring Black this guy. Yes, there's the faith-based. Also director. Western, uh, yeah, romantic comedy. People yeah. are loving it. You're going to go there and just laugh, laugh, laugh. So that's the movie we're talking about right now. Did you use any authentic uh, Western movie? Because everything looked authentic. Yeah, well, every every uh, studio or a set that we use uh, has a lot of history and in, in with with westerns. We shot uh, so many. We shot on a, a place called Sable Ranch, uh, Big Sky, Values A. In, incidentally, where you see in the trailer where I lose the posse and I you know, I ride through a tunnel. Uh, a little little trivia for you. That's that is the tunnel in Batman the series. Every time you saw the 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 Batmobile come out of the cave, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. So I I have a lot of Easter eggs in this movie that I ho hopefully you guys will be uh, finding out and discovering along the way. So I borrow from a lot of movies, especially those involving martial arts and westerns. Yeah, Someone said we put a lot of determination and effort into this film. I was really, really, really amazed by that. Well, thank, thank you so you. much. Yes, yes. Really it, did. It started with us. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and, and now we're here. <laughs> started at the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> right. uh, this, well, there's a lot of people saying that they, they, they love the movie, and thank you. I keep saying stuff about the soundtrack. Thank you. The soundtrack yeah. is amazing. Yeah. A soundtrack is so important. In a film, the musical direction is so important. It, it 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 carries the film, so that was a big deal for us. Yeah, what's so cool is that we did this movie. Uh, our budget was probably the same as the 
catering budget on a lot of these movies that's being compared to. <laughs> I wish I was joking. Hmm. I'm not. I'm not. But so to do a Western correctly, you have to have this orchestraic musical production and everything else because all the movies that you normally see, they have real freaking orchestras. But, you know, we had to do that, uh, you know, in, uh, on a budget. But the thing about this film, it doesn't look like it's on a budget. Right. It does not. Mm -hmm. But this guy right here is the king of making stuff work in films. Please tell the first You're going to see him blush now. Please I... tell the first thing you do while choreographing action. Please tell the first thing I do. When choreographing action, well, for me, it's, it's always the style of the, the the particular movie, and so since I was doing this movie and seven, now it's bothering me. What's bothering, bothering you? It's like let me. Is it that right there? Uh, I like this comment that just came. Out. Yeah. I want to what, what, what is that comment? I just want to say really quick before he answers the question. Yeah, better. It was refreshing to see a faith-based <laughs> no. theme. Listen to this, babe. It was refreshing to see a faith-based theme. I see, it was seriously one of the most satisfying movie experiences I've had in years. Funny, action-packed, perfectly class, cast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. That was and, a wonderful compliment. Yes, we, we, we got, when I, I had a, a, a screening in Atlanta, and uh, one real uh, great um, uh, accolade was from, from Devin, Devon Franklin. Uh, who's a big time producer and pastor. And he said, Mike, this is one of the best faith based movies I've seen. And I was like, really? He says, yes, because it doesn't come off as faith based. It does, you know, and that's what we want in the faith based audience, things that doesn't feel like it's preaching to the choir. And that really hit my heart. And he was the one, really the inspiration for me using the term faith based in the, in the descriptions of the movie. I, I, I honestly, <laughs> It's it's about what other people say. I I mean I write something and I you know I I might be a bit biased. So I really listen to what others are saying. And when everybody that and the test audiences kept saying, I've never seen a movie like this. I've never seen a movie like this. This had equal parts of this and that. So that's when I, we came up with okay, we echoed their words. We said you know, uh, as faith based uh, Western and black exploitation. You know, um, Kung Fu action, romantic comedy, dramas go. It's right up there with the rest of them. So that's where it kind of came from, you guys, not us. Mm -hmm. So thank you, thank you for for you know chiming in, and it helps me because um, you know I don't just fall in love with anything that I write. I basically, you know, I just like we raise our kids and we put them out there in the world, and hopefully they they do well and people receive it well and so that's what's happening and so we're 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 some proud parents right now yeah very there are a lot of people who don't even speak english they want you to know they just like watching your movies that's that's interesting i don't know if you heard what he said he says there's a lot of people who don't speak english that just like watching my movies well that's that's awesome yeah that that is yeah. i don't i'd like to say thank you in several different languages <laughs> So to them, just go like that. <laughs> People would like to hear more about your thoughts on your 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 fight choreography. They want to hear more of my thoughts on your fight style, choreography. Your style. Well, I I just my style is going is going to change depending on the movie. Even when I'm doing fighting, I basically it's got I have to fight as the character, you know. So, uh, if my character is like weird, I should fight weird. If my character is dominant, I should fight dominant, you know? So that, that it depends on um, different, um, you know, character stuff. And I always wanted to feel real. I don't, I don't like a lot of that hokey stuff. Someone asked why, I mean, sorry, how did the idea of Outlaw Johnny Black come about? Well, it's, I always had this idea that I would do this hyper action one like um like with black dynamite which was my shaft and superfly nod and i always wanted to do one with the with the western stuff like like buck and the preacher and this is my nod to to the western genre that was done in the 70s because that was very specific that's why growing up um seeing these movies they had a lot of morality to them and the soundtrack was unique 
That's why I made the soundtrack really feel like it's the 70s. And even the gun so shots, it's like, pew! Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. So I wanted to, I wanted to, for people my age and older to relive that. And then I wanted to share it with a, a new audience as well. Would you ever consider doing a movie without action or fighting? Would I ever consider doing a movie without action or fighting? Um, clearly, I do a lot of movies without action and fighting. So I, I you know. He I, has. He has done yeah, plenty yeah. of films without action or fighting. Yep. And I have series and uh, movies that I can't name. <laughs> In series that I can't name. Yeah, for those who just so joined I, I, on, we you almost can, got me. I yeah. almost said I, I almost this, said this, something too. Yeah, yeah so yeah, you know, there's a lot of stuff. Thank, thanks, you know, is SAG uh, like undercover agent. <laughs> <laughs> for those who just joined on, we we cannot talk about any other film other than Outlaw Johnny Black because of the SAG act after strike that is currently going on, and we stand in solidarity with them. But they did allow us to promote. I love Johnny Black, so this we movie. are promoting the mess out of it right now. So yeah. mm -hmm. that's why we're on here talking about only Outlaw Johnny Black. So please mm -hmm. save your questions about other movies until after the strike is over. Yep. Oh, boy. Uh, you're speaking Spanish. We're, we're trying to keep up with all the questions coming in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up? With, hey, hey, everybody. And uh, let me see. Great movie, great people. And both shots with... Great movie, well, great people, peeps. true life gunslingers. They're both great shots. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. I think they were asking if these shots were re re real, real life. Not one round gunshot <laughs> in this entire movie. Nope. Not no one squid was used. <laughs> these were all uh, like VFX, and thank you to Occlusion. They are the baddest VFX yes. people ever. Realize so not one gunshot in this entire movie. This just basically. Just doing that. That's it. Yep. With fake guns. And they made the explosions, the they sounds, and everything. so real. The, the smoke that comes out. Of, the smoke coming out of the, the gun is not real. Yeah. They made it afterwards. They are That's how bad occlusion is. Effects. <laughs> yeah. We were lucky to get them on board. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Josiah. That's the, that's the man. He's yeah. the wizard over at... <laughs> wizard. Yeah. yeah. Over at occlusion. It's on in Connecticut later tonight. All yes. right. Yes, yes. You know, it's in New we, Haven and Hartford. Yes, everybody yeah. to go out and support this film this weekend. This is an independent film. We got to support independent films, especially now with the strike going on and us fighting these bigger production uh, companies. You got to go out and support us. Someone just asked, does wifey know martial arts too? Do I know martial arts? I do. Yes, and there's several movies that we can't name that she's done martial arts. <laughs> I've done quite a few movies with action scenes doing martial arts, but yes, we can't name them. So yes, hopefully things you that can, she starred in. Yes, you can go on IMDb and, and look those films yeah, up yourself and, and since the, we are not allowed to talk about And one of the posters them. where she's kicking, in my own movie, she's kicking the hell out of me in the poster, in the corner of the poster. We have a she, fight scene against each other yeah, in the cause film. Because she, she played a, a, um, a terrorist. A terrorist. It's typecasting. You look like a terrorist, but I'm good at playing one. I was yeah. good at playing a terrorist. Yes, you were. You were. Yeah. <laughs> Any other actor you still wish to work with? There's a lot. There's too many actors I wish to work yeah. with. Yeah. I, I, I don't know who the number... Well, the number one actor I wish to work with almost did a cameo in this movie. And that's Samuel L. Jackson. Sam Jackson that's, is the man. That's my guy. That's my guy. Man. People don't realize, because he's been around for so long, that he's like, there's, I, there's nobody I put in his, his category. Yeah. I'm sorry. He's amazing. Yeah. I see. I love the movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to hunt you down and find you. Uh, Turkey, Brazil. We, we love that so many other countries on board with us, supporting us. We love it. Yeah. And Sardinia. Sardinia. So many. So many. Sardinia. Someone was giving you credit to be the first black woman to star in a martial arts film. Thank you. Yes. Um, there was a film I did that put me... Gave me the brand of uh, being the first African American female to star in a martial arts action film. Mm -hmm. so. And she kicks a little ass in this movie too. As you, you see, and I don't. Then, people don't know. I do yeah. a cameo in Outlaw Johnny Black. Yep, yeah, and and she's a producer as well. I am. A, but, I'm a producer. Yeah, a yeah. And but she she spin kicked the hell out of somebody. They brought me in for the the, the saloon bar fight. So yes. if you guys see that film and you see that woman doing a spinning back kick, knocking mm -hmm. somebody across the table. 
That would be me. Someone asked, who are your favorites actor? Your favorite actor? Oh my Who's god. I hate actor? this question because it's it's like I just have too many. This is tough for me. You're better at things like this than I am. Bro, that, you that pinpoint is... things really quickly when somebody's like, What's your favorite song? What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite food? You're really good at that. Me, I'm like super indecisive and I never know. Yeah, I don't I have a lot of favorites <laughs> for different reasons. Yeah. Me yeah, too. Yeah. Me too. Cause I like favorites in, that are dramatic actors. I have favorites that are comedian. You know, it's just hard. It's yeah, well, when I keep, you know, I, I keep droning on about Samuel L. Jackson, but I'd like you to think about anybody who could play a nuclear physicist and a crackhead. <laughs> I mean, think about Sam that for Jackson. a second. You who can play in the in the in the Marvel universe and yeah. play a crackhead? Yeah, because <laughs> he can do it all. Yeah, he you know, can do it all. I, I had this this discussion with <laughs> Vlad when I he was like, "Oh, yeah, Denzel Washington is the, the number one actor." And I said, "Okay, okay, think about all the the, the roles that Denzel Washington played, right?" And I'm gonna, I'm going to get people mad on this one. Denzel, and, we're not we're not saying Denzel. No, no, Denzel's awesome. amazing. Denzel but, but, is, but is I'm amazing. I'm saying they're both amazing. But I want you to. I want in terms I'm, of character roles. Yeah, well, that's what I feel. Well, well, yeah. a lot of times you know people say that, you know Denzel's similar. And most of his roles, and so is Samuel Jackson. Mm -hmm. They keep saying that. But I just want you to think about it, right? Because there's branding. Because Denzel's the number one guy in everybody's mind, right? So I go, all right, so think about, can Den could Samuel L. Jackson play some of Denzel's roles? Hmm. Could Samuel L. Jackson play an American uh, gangster? What would you think? Yeah, yeah I think he could. Uh, could he have played in uh, Training Day? Oh, hell yes, he could have played in Training Day. Glory. Yeah, I think so. He could have, you know, you can argue that one might be better than the other, whatever. He couldn't have done, you know, uh, uh, X because he doesn't look you know, like um, no, Malcolm X. Malcolm X so no. much. But then think about, now you start thinking about um, how many roles did Samuel L. Jackson play that Denzel could have played? Now just think about that for a second. Could he have played in Pulp Fiction? Could he have played in The Other Guys? All those Marvel uh, movies. Mm -hmm. Could he have played in, you know, um, uh, what's the, the, hit, uh, the Hitman's Bodyguard? Yeah. All these comedic roles. He's just, um, a, he's just an incredibly well-rounded actor. He could play any role. Yeah, you know, Black That's Slate That's the kind of point we're trying to make. Who's your favorite person you did a fight sequence with? My favorite person I did a fight se sequence with would have to be Tony Ja. Tony Ja is... We did a movie that I can't freaking say. Yeah. We did a movie where um, we created the fight scene 10 minutes before we shot it. We just altered the fight scene that we were going to do. We saw a building and we said, hey, what if we ran through that building fighting? And then everybody was just on board and they set up track and everything else mm -hmm. and then we created it that And it fast. was a badass fight scene yeah. too. Yeah. That was, part, that was part of the whole fight mm -hmm. scene. Here's, yeah. what I, here's what I like. What's your favorite album of all time? What's my favorite album of all time? Music. You're, you're pre-reading these things, aren't you? <laughs> yes, because uh, uh, that's, that's, I'm so deeply into music. He loves music. His music, he's like the musical genius. We can sometimes be in elevators where they play that music, you know, and, and there'll be some random song that I've literally never heard in my life. And he'll start singing it, knowing all the lyrics. I'm like, how do you know that? I'm old. It's, you're, you're old. You are old. No, I'm joking. No, it's not about old. It's the fact that he just his 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 mind with the with the amount of music and songs and titles and lyrics that he knows. He knows lyrics to everything. It's like amazing to me. Yeah, just one of us needs to know. Oh lyrics. God, here we go. <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't know any lyrics. Lyric, I mean, lyrics to things that everybody should know. I just, She's my brain makes up my own lyrics when I hear songs. Wrong stuff. I mean, I could be enjoying a song and she's singing, she's singing, Ain't no stopping us down. <laughs> I'm like, what, 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 what'd you just say? Someone's uh, asking, uh, do you like uh, Lauren Hill? Do I like Lauren Hill? These are very random, These Billy. Are random. Don't just read anything. We're not going to just read anything. <laughs> To answer the question, Billy. I like Lauren Hill. Yes. <laughs> Billy's supposed to be helping us out. He's yeah. doing random, ra real random questions. 
That's not a good question. <laughs> Okay. Do you like Lauren Hill? We're, we're supposed to be promoting right. Outlaw Johnny or, Black. Or, or something. Or something. Uh, something else. Not Lauren Hill, but we do yeah, like Lauren Hill. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Don't just read anything. Uh -huh. That's the whole point. Oh man. <laughs> Woo. That was a good one. Well, okay. Oh, oh, that that that's the okay. one that he yeah, came up yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, got so to scroll I, ahead. Yeah, behind. <laughs> yeah. We'd love to see you and Denzel. I I would too, but I might have just ruined that just now. No, you didn't. No, yeah. you didn't. No, you didn't. I've known Denzel for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, he knows you have a lot of respect for him. Yes. He does, yes. He does oh, you know what? Again. You know, Denzel tried to get a movie done with me a long time ago. That would have been cool. Yeah, that, for me starring. He was trying to produce Yeah, one. I would love to see you guys. Yeah, work. yeah. I'd love to see you work with Sam Jackson or Denzel. Yeah, well, you know, almost happened. And you know my mom would love for you to work with Denzel. Yeah, your, your mom. She has a crush on him. <laughs> yeah. She, she, <laughs> She'd be on set every day just... Yeah, but... <laughs> She's married to your father. You know it's you okay. Know? It's an actor. She's never going to meet him. Yeah, but you just said that. It doesn't matter. He knows. Gonna... Okay. I didn't say it. <laughs> yeah. She thinks he's a handsome guy. Jeez. Nothing wrong with that. Yep. Yeah, you said a crush. No, I'm just, well, whatever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So I let them deal with that. Oh, you know, my God. she said it. Uh, yes, Dad. I did so, say it. Dad. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> you got something that's not so random, Billy? They said this will go down as a classic, Johnny Black. I love well, Johnny well, Black. I believe thank will go down as a classic. Oh, you know what's cool is that, like, what's starting already is the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like, mm. the, the quotes. Just like with, um, with, yes. uh, with, uh, Black, oh. Black Pant. Yeah, you no. say Black Panther? Black Pants. You have Black Pants. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I did, yeah. Gee, man, this is like these, these minefields. Um, like uh, with the other movie I did that preceded this one, um, they're, they're, you know, quotes and people start, you know, quoting. So right now what's in the lead is Deacon, Deacon, Deacon. And you'll understand that joke when you see Outlaw Johnny Black. Yes. What theaters in L.A. is Outlaw Johnny Black playing in? I will kick you in the shin, Billy. Do you I think I have it? In my I can name a few, though. I can name a oh, few. Oh, good. Yeah, you guys, check your local theater listings. There's actually a lot of movies, movie theaters playing in L.A., like Universal City Walk, uh, Burbank Town Square, the NoHo Limley. Because, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's playing all over. It's playing in Long Beach. It's playing in Inglewood, uh, the Sinopolis. Um, it's, it's, it's downtown L.A. at the um, Alamo Draft House. Yep. It's a really cool theater. It's it's playing all over LA. So and you know, and cities outside, Orange and I don't know, um, Draft South House Bay. is kinda cool. It is we, cool. We went there last night. Yeah, we were there last night checking out. We've been popping in, popping in and uh, you know, seeing audiences' reactions. Yeah, some of these uh, sold out theaters, you might see your boy. <laughs> you know, coming in and thanking you, it better be a good question. Is Outlaw Johnny Black gonna be a cartoon? I don't know. We don't know it's that. Too early. It's, it's too early. early. You never know. You never know. Never know. I, I like to think that these things will be figured out that early. But yeah, if you uh, be a part of Bridgeport, uh, uh, oh, that, that went by too fast. I keep seeing a lot of people saying they love us. I just want to take a quick moment and say we love you guys too. Thank you so much. You guys have supported us uh, individually. What's up, Jay Phillips? And together. And we love it. Hi, Jay. <laughs> yes. Best memory from JCV, the... And Dolph Lundgren. That's a good, that's an interesting question that you didn't get. Um, <laughs> the, yeah, so, you know, they, they, they know that I did the, the movie, uh, a movie called Whatever, um, with Jean-Claude Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren. And, and I, a great memory is I trained with Jean-Claude Van Damme in that movie. I was still competing at the time, and he was nice enough to have me training with him. And he had um, a trailer, two trailers with, with gym equipment in it. And we would get up and work out every day. And I got to say, man, Jean-Claude was so nice to me. Because I, I basically had no, no work at that time. Was, I was doing like little, I was a glorified extra That's almost, true. basically. And, you know, so, and, you know, but I was still competitive in martial arts. And he actually had enough like, trust to spar with me. 
And, you know, I, I wouldn't, you know, I didn't uh, misuse the truck. I mean, we, we, we controlled and everything. But, man, he, he went out of his way in so many cases. I remember we had a scene together in the desert, and it's freezing in the desert. And he would insist that I wear his jacket between these scenes. And I, was, I basically had a T-shirt on, and I was shivering. And so that's the kind of guy he was. He never realized that even when we did the sequel, he didn't realize I was the guy that in in the first uh, the of that movie. We did the sequel of that movie eight years later, but my star had risen, and I was co-starring with him, and I was the bad guy. You see how life works? Mm -hmm. You never know. You can go from an extra to a star yep. in eight years. And just think about it. What if he mistreated me at that time? I don't know. <laughs> no, you <laughs> <laughs> See, so it's good to treat people it's nice. It's always good to treat people nice. Yeah, because they might come back I, I live by and, that. and be facing you as your <laughs> opponent eight years later. That's true. You see what I'm saying? Somebody just asked, do we have any fight scenes planned in any more movies where we're going to be fighting against each other again? Absolutely, but we can't talk about it. You never know what the future holds. Yeah, it, it is a movie that don't have an interim agreement that we're supposed to be doing a fight scene in. <laughs> That we might have the agreement soon. Hopefully. Y'all don't make me mess up. Keep our keep our fingers crossed. Yes. Just reiterate to the people in the UK about okay. Just reiterate the, to the people in the UK. They're all trying to figure out which seat. Did you get the part where it's not? No. In, no bills. You are, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah but you're the one reading the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, telling everybody, even in the room, <laughs> that it's only playing in the United States right now. Yeah. Outlaw right? Johnny so Black is you, only playing in the U.S. right now. Right. It just came out yesterday in all theaters, like three hundred re over three hundred the theaters you nationwide. Know. You so ask that. we're not going to waste our last eight minutes discussing this. <laughs> yeah. You guys, we need you guys to get out this weekend and see the movie. Um, you guys are going to love it. We just found out today it has a hundred percent audience rating score on Rotten Tomatoes, which is amazing. And we're so excited. So you guys got to get out and see it. It's not playing internationally yet, but hopefully it will soon. Yes. What was the most difficult part about making this movie? The most difficult part about making this movie is, yeah, well, we had to get, first we had to get the money. And yes. we had to get the money. And so we put our, our nickels and dimes together mm -hmm. to do that uh, mock trailer. Yeah. And then uh, actually making it was a joy. We had so much fun making this we movie. We really did. Even cr the crews that normally don't give a damn about the movie, they were asking for scripts because they were so involved and so, so enjoy, enjoyed us uh, shooting the movie. They wanted to see what, it, what was yeah. going on. And even on set, it was such good energy and vibes. It was just such an amazing set. People were bringing their families, their kids up to set because they just felt, you know, if, you, you don't do that everywhere. So you know you have to feel good about uh, an environment when you can bring your family and your kids up. Yeah. So we, we had a great experience on Outlaw. Yeah, that meant, that meant a lot. That it meant did. a lot. It does. Yep. My, All right. My, my last question is, what's the most difficult part? Oh, that was the one that you just... Yeah. Well, about writing oh, for Oh, writing for the movie. Okay, yeah. Writing for the movie is... It's like in, weaving... Well, for this, writing for the movie is, the, is because I'm writing something that's uh, unusual. Because it's not only is a comedy, but it's... There's some serious stuff about it. And and the real message of the movie is about forgiveness. I mean, f for real. It's, um, you know, it, and especially with Westerns, Westerns are usually all about re revenge. And so I took the archetype of a Western to, to tell you about a movie that's about forgiveness, but disguise it as a movie that's about revenge. So, um... It's difficult to make sure that, you know, everything is working. Make the comedy work, but also taking the drama seriously. So, you know, that was the, the difficult thing. I think Buddy just said it was a blast working with you. Yeah, well, Buddy's Buddy, Buddy Lewis, Buddy Buddy Lewis, Lewis is a, has one of my favorite scenes in the movie. It's probably one of my favorite <laughs> scenes, too. And it's, it's, it's one of my favorite scenes in the movie. It might be my favorite scene in the movie. It is. It's because of him. And, yeah. and, and he has such a quality about him that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. and, and just this innocence about him. <laughs> oh, my God. And if, and if you've seen the movie, the, I'm talking about the feet hanging out the window scene. 
<laughs> the feed hanging out the window scene with Buddy Lewis and Mike is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Here's your key. <laughs> You guys gotta get out and see this movie. I'm yeah, telling you, it is so like, uh, many funny scenes. You're gonna laugh, laugh, yeah. laugh the whole movie. We gotta have a contest of what is the what is the dom most dominant um, catchphrase, you know? And in the other movies, yeah, I know what yeah. it was, yeah. you know? And that's uh, yeah. We'll have to figure that out between I am smiling mm -hmm, and, exactly. But it's uh, uh, yeah. This this one right now it's Deacon Deacon Deacon. So far, so far. The movie's only been out one day. One day. Today is Saturday. We're hoping the numbers keep going up. Yes. Yeah, and so we just, we need to, we need to kill it this weekend. We need you guys to support the film, get out, tell people about it, and just have a good time. Yeah. All right. There's a, there's, oh, there was something. Uh, people keep asking about these other movies. They, they just can't. I think, I think it's they because can't help they can't themselves. help themselves. We're not allowed to talk about any other films right now because of SAG strike. What's my favorite? Is it comedy <laughs> or martial arts? Oh, definitely comedy. I've done, actually, I've done more comedy than anything else, but people don't realize that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, because they think, you know, when you kick somebody in the head, that's yeah. who you are. Yeah. 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 He is so much more than an action star. And I think you guys will really see this in Outlaw Johnny Black. You will see his whole amazing range. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys see how much I love my husband? Uh, is, I'm his biggest I, supporter. I always get shy with compliments. And, uh, <laughs> this was, oh, oh, will there be a bloopers video? Oh, we would love to. That was so I, many funny oh, moments boy. behind scenes at Outlaw. Oh, my gosh. Somebody made well, keep, they keep asking what's my best memory with Scott Atkins. And so I have to say it without saying the movie. But uh, You'll you know, have to figure it out yourself. Well, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, Scott and I have another movie coming out. Uh, that, that you can't speak about. That I can't speak about yet. You know, and we have a, a, great, some great, a great fight scene in, in, the, in the movie. But yeah. we, 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 had, we had some really nice. Really Ooh. Thank you, D-Nice. We appreciate oh, it. We hope you get out and see the movie. Yes, please. please you please. are going to love it. Yes, <laughs> D-Nice has got so, such great energy. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for what you Amazing did during the, the pandemic, man. You brought everybody together. Yep. And that's what we're trying to do with this movie. Yeah. Paul Logan said his face still hurts from being slapped. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, Paul Logan. I, that's one of people's favorite scenes. It is. is people love is that the scene. slapping scene. The slapping scene. So you know, Paul Logan, not Logan Paul, Paul Logan. Paul Logan. He's the original. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the you scene guys got to get out and see this movie. It's way too many scenes that you're gonna love and be talking about with your friends. Yeah, later incidentally, on. do you know? Do you know that slap scene sequence was created on the way to the set? I we were going to the set and. I'm doing this and whatever. She's used to me doing that. It's like, she doesn't bother I'm in the car with him, so I can attest that he was in the car doing this. Yeah, on the so, way to set. And out I realized I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have enough time to shoot this. And so nobody knew that slap sequence was gonna happen. Since I'm the director, I was like, oh, we got time to do this. And so then I, 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 I taught and showed Paul Logan what it was, and he was just all for it, which was great. Because he's yeah. another martial artist and actor, and uh, we had a good time doing that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's probably people's favorite scene. It is. Yeah. Actually, uh, Mike's been doing a lot of promotion on different news stations, GMA, and, and all the different stations. And uh, they, they always tend to choose that clip. Yes, they to do. To promote the they film. Do. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, I, we want to say thank you once again. Yes. That's, our hour is about up. And we, we hopefully uh, will have a chance to do this again very soon. And we're going to resurrect another thing that we did a long time ago, which was because uh, uh, it was called Love Strong and talk about relationships and, you know, give advice and mm -hmm. share things that, you know, help us. Yeah. And hopefully we can inspire you guys. So that's about it. Oh, thank you. Gillian, you're a, you're, you are a legend as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. But anyways, we want you guys to get out this weekend. Please go support Outlaw Johnny Black. You, you can see it more than once not, if you want. You can, get, you can, go you can see it more than once. And, and actually, friends. the cool thing is, we I've had people tell me that they saw it, and now they're going back to see it again with their family or their group of friends. So this is how much this film is like really making a, a, like a, a difference in people's lives that they want to keep going to see it over and over and over. So get out and see it if it's in a theater near you. And um, hopefully it's not. It'll be out soon. Thank you so much. Thanks, you guys. Take care. Love y'all.
And I wish I could do this smoothly, but this is just like. This is, <laughs> Thank we never, you, we really. never know how to turn this off without this you guys still seeing us. Cool so bye. Everything is gone. <laughs> now you got to see my armpit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your big head in the screen. I'll do it for you. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>